Welcome to Bike and Bird Moto Vlog. Today we're going to teach you how to wrap the pipes on a Harley Davidson 883. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by uh, telling you what exactly you need to get this job done. Uh, all the links for this stuff will be in the description below. Uh, this is 50 feet of black fiberglass uh, wrap by a company called Aurelio Tech. Uh, these are the steel zip ties it comes with, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, fuck these because I wanted some black ones. Uh, these didn't come from a name brand, but uh, I'll, once again, I'll put the, the link down below. Uh, the next thing you'll need is a package of disposable rubber gloves. Uh, you will need this because, like I said, that is made of fiberglass, so you do need to protect yourself. And then I think the only two tools we'll need is a 13 millimeter ratchet uh, with an extension, as well as a 13 millimeter wrench. And also a bucket to uh, fill with water and some uh, degreaser and a rag if your pipes are dirty. Also, if you have an extra set of hands, I suggest getting a pair of those too. All right, step number one, take bucket and fill it with water. All right, before we touch anything on the bike, take your wrap out of this plastic, uh, if it has plastic, and without touching it, just go ahead and uh, dump it in the water there. What this is gonna do is um, make the wrap more pliable so when you wrap the pipes, you can get it nice and tight and uh, not have it unravel on you or anything like that. You'll see it bubble. That's a good sign because that's all the air releasing from inside the wrap. Uh, you should leave it in there for at least 15 minutes. Uh, you can't leave it in longer. So it usually takes about 10, 15 minutes to take these pipes off anyway. So you should be uh, good to go by the time your pipes are off. Also, if your pipe doesn't, or uh, if your wrap doesn't unravel like mine didn't, uh, you can get a screwdriver or something in there and just kind of pry it off. Make sure that uh, the water gets all up in there. Or if you want, you can just put your gloves on beforehand and get this done. Also, if you notice the water is turning uh, black, make sure you're wearing clothes that you don't want, uh, or that you don't mind getting stained because this stuff uh, will stain your clothes pretty badly. All right, we can go ahead and set that aside. All right, so while your wrap is soaking, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the pipes uh, from the bike. It's very simple. There's going to be two bolts uh, up at the top of each pipe and then two bolts at the back. This is where your extension is gonna come into play. It's pretty much as simple as that. Okay, after you can do the uh, top two on this pipe, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the rear pipe. All right, on this pipe, pretty much the same exact positions. Just top, uh, bolt on top, bolt on bottom. All right, after you have all the top bolts removed, we need to go ahead and remove the bottom bolts from the mounting bracket. Uh, this is where your 13 millimeter wrench is going to come in. Once again, just like up top, you've got two bolts for the uh, front top pipe and two bolts for the rear bottom pipe. Alright, after both bolts are removed, your exhaust should come free. Alright, once you remove the pipe, you will see that there is a wire connecting to it. 
that wire runs through your bike over to the other side of this black panel. All right, to remove this, simply push down this tab and pull apart. Once that's clear, just uh, go ahead and pull it through the other side. Prior to pulling off the other pipe, uh, you have to disconnect the wire from the other one. Uh, there is a clip holding in these uh, wires together. Simply pop that off, set it aside. Once again, it's the same style clip as before. Just push the tab in and pull out. What are those? After those are free, your second pipe should pop right off along with the gate. All right, now we have the pipes off. What I'm going to personally do now, this is not something that you have to do, but I'm going to take the bolts that I removed from the rear bracket and put them back into what's called the double nut, which uh, sits behind this whole bracket right here. The reason for this is I want my wrap to go in between both pipes and all the way down pretty much from the tip I'm gonna leave the tip uh, chrome and then wrap all the way up to the top. You basically have a few options when you get to this point. Uh, if you want to take your heat shields off, you can. If you want to leave them on, you can. I am going to leave mine on simply because I don't like the smaller diameter pipe look as compared to the, the, the thicker ones with, that it looks like with the heat shield. You also have an option of starting from the top and going down, or starting from the bottom and working your way up. A lot of people suggest starting at the bottom and working your way up, because at the end you're gonna have to trim it and it'll be a little bit ugly, and that'll be hidden up inside the bike up here next to your gasket. Now I'm ready to start wrapping. And put these on before you touch anything. Also have your lovely assistant put a pair of gloves on as well. Once you've gloved up, get your wrap and find the center point. Do this by folding it in half and cutting it in half. So here is our middle. Cut this in the middle, it's essentially going to give us 25 feet on both sides. That should be more than enough to do each pipe. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and set the other pipe off to the side. All right, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to start from the rear and work our way up. All right, how you're going to start this off is take the end of it, fold it over like so. Find out where on the pipe you want it to start. So for me, I guess I you don't know, follow me exactly. I'm going to start it out right there. What you're going to do is wrap it over on itself and make sure you don't get a, a wrinkle like I almost do. Wrap it over on itself.
times. Once you reach the top here, you want to cut off your excess. All right, get your um, metal zip tie on here. And just like we did at the bottom, we'll go ahead and do it at the top too. is on. I am going to go ahead and put a few more of these on here just to be safe. I've seen some people do just two or just uh, one at the top and the bottom. I don't know how secure that would be because since this is two inch wide um, wrap, I've got quite a bit of surface area for it to, to cover. For those of you wondering, all I'm doing with the screwdriver is holding this silver tab just because I can't really grab it with my finger. So just so everyone knows, I lost my cutters, so I'm going to use my girlfriend's pretty purple ones. Maybe. Wow, careful. Those come off quick. <laughs> Alright, then just bend them back in, make them look all nice and pretty. And down here on the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to add another one. of these and hopefully it works so let's see all right a little bit of recommendation here if you are going to be using a vice grip uh, first off put on a towel if you don't want to stretch uh, your original pipes and two be careful if you are using your deep shield because you can bend them or bend them. Alright guys, we've got the pipes all wrapped up. Uh, now it's time to get them back on the bike. Alright, so essentially they're going to go back on just the way they came off. We're going to go ahead and get these bolts, uh, these holes in the bolts at the exhaust port. Results. Uh, very happy with how they turned out. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments below and I'll get to them as quickly as I possibly can. Once again, the links for everything you need to do this to your own bike are in the description below as well. A couple suggestions to you. Um, I would wear a long sleeve shirt because I'm itchy because you're eventually going to hit these things with your arms. And also as a little side notice, these things are going to smoke the first time you fire up the bike. Fiberglass has to cure, it's going to smoke, it's gonna look it's gonna look really bad. Don't freak out, it's completely normal. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There'll be many more in the future.